Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, as I show you one of my time-lapse drawings, I will be talking about three things which you can do to help your drawings look more realistic. I found once I worked on these three areas, my drawings quickly improved and so can yours. Before I start, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't and you do like my videos, then I would really appreciate it if you could please subscribe. Thank you. So the first thing that I want to mention is making sure that your proportions are accurate. If the proportions are not accurate, it might not be obvious, but the whole drawing could look off. There are a number of things that you can do to help with this, such as learning to see, drawing the negative space and using a grid. I have mentioned these in other videos and books which I have recommended. I will leave links to these in the description below. I plan to make more in-depth tutorials about these in future. Please let me know in the comments if this is something that you will be interested in. The second topic I want to mention that helps to make your drawings look realistic is making sure that the values are accurate. This is mainly in relation to each other, that they follow light logic, that the dark areas are dark and that the light areas are light. For example, no areas that are casted in shadow should be lighter than those which are in the light. It also helps to make sure that your darks are as dark as possible as this really helps to make your drawing pop. I find that the value matters more than the colour for the drawing to look realistic. This is why there are realistic mono or single colour drawings and paintings. Again, I plan to make videos explaining this in more detail as learning light logic will help you understand what you are drawing and also help you draw from your imagination. The next one, texture, was a real game changer for me. Learning to see texture and understand which were the best pencils and marks to use really seemed to give my drawings a life of their own. I would recommend having a go at drawing different textures. First, feel and see the texture and then try using different marks, making little swatches as you go along. I would also consider if you are drawing a close-up where you can show more details or further away where it's best to just hint or give the impression of a texture. I could make a series of videos drawing different textures if you would be interested in these, then please let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. If you did enjoy my video and would like more, then please like, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I next post. Thank you for watching.